time we're here. Just made Anna and I some breakfast. She talked me into doing another Whole30. This is day three, whoops. Sorry for the interruption. Right after I started filming, Tyler knocked on the door to bring me coffee. So I was saying hi to him for a little bit. But what I was saying in the clip before is that Anna talked me into doing another Whole30. So I was just gonna show you the breakfast I made for us, but it is now gone, so. Sorry about that, but I just had a call um, with like a virtual appointment to look at wedding bands, which I was gonna tell you about that before the call, but then I was hanging out with Tyler. So essentially I have been looking at what I wanna do for like a wedding band. Um, and so I looked at the store initially where Tyler got my engagement ring. He went to the San Francisco Jewelry Mart, which is essentially this giant mart with a ton of different diamond companies in it. And we actually did go to look at engagement rings together, probably like a month before getting engaged because I pretty much always known that I wanted a round solitaire diamond with the yellow gold which is what I have um, but I had never tried on rings before obviously and so I wanted to make sure that I what I thought I wanted I also liked the way it looked on my hand and so we did go look at rings together just to get an idea of like what kind of setting I wanted and to make sure it was the round I wanted instead of like a different shape or whatever and confirmed that's what I loved and then he went back and picked out the ring on his own I think he actually went like the day after we went ring shopping i found out later um but anyways they didn't have any wedding bands i loved at that place where he got my engagement ring and so i've just been looking on pinterest to find different options for that and i found three different rings i loved one of them is actually a ring i've had pinned for a while as i was like looking through old like pinning on my pinterest wedding board or whatever and then i ended up finding another one and two of them were from the same store called consider the wildflowers um and then i found a third one as well let me just show you these so here's the three i had found this is the first one i found that like i said i had had pinned for a while and i just think it is so pretty and delicate and Oh, I just love it um, and then I did research and found out it was from the consider the wildflowers place and then this one as well is from them this one's got like the round diamonds with gold in the middle um, this one has like more of the marquee marquise I think it's called and round alternating um, and so here's some other pictures of it it's this one here on the right and so I saw those and then I also found this one on Pinterest and this one's from a different store, I forget the name of it. And so I just kept going back and forth, but then I saw that Consider the Wildflowers, the store where this one is from, they actually do, let me flip you around they do like virtual appointments because they're actually based out of nashville i actually saw afterwards if you follow kristen johns and marcus they had their wedding rings and everything redone after their accident and they actually worked with that same store too um which is cool but anyways i'm not in nashville so i couldn't go into the store um and so i saw that they had like a virtual wedding band appointment set up and so got a plane going by so I ended up setting up that and basically the idea is they would kind of like virtually put on a ring that looks like my engagement ring and then try on these different rings because I really just wanted to be able to visualize what it was going to look like with my ring. So that was the purpose of that appointment. I'll insert some clips from it here. Your store is so cute. So it does look like those ones are, it's a little bit thicker. Oh there, it's focusing better now. But the stones, the round stones are the same for both of the bands. Oh, they are? Right. Yeah. Oh, for some reason, the one on the bottom, they look thicker. And I do like the more, like, thinner look. I do think I really like that one. It's really unique and just delicate and pretty. So I'm really glad I did the little virtual appointment because I was starting to think that I was leaning towards the ring with just like all the round um, circles around diamonds. Um, but then after seeing it with an engagement ring that's similar to mine on like the stylist's hand, I really love the first one with the Marquise diamonds. And I feel like because the Marquise diamonds are like long and skinny, it ends up giving the engagement, or sorry, the wedding band more of like a delicate look than the ones with all the round diamonds because it looks a little bit thicker and so i think that's the one i'm leaning toward but i'm gonna think about it a little bit more and let 
Tyler know. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to ask them about is because they also do men's bands and there's something really special I'm planning to do with Tyler's ring. Um, and I wanted to see if they would be able to do that because it involves some like customization. Um, and unfortunately the thing that I'm looking to do, they couldn't do, but they were like, that's such a sweet idea. You should totally like, you know, reach out to other jewel jewelers and stuff because I'm sure it involves like, eh, I don't want to say, but they said you should for sure try to find other jewelers because others do do that. We just don't. And so I'll have to share in a future video what I'm doing for his ring because it's very sentimental and special. If you have watched my videos, you know, I'm a very sentimental person. Um, and so that was my little wedding band appointment. <music> It is Monday, a little after 4.30, and I just finished up work for my full-time job. Here's my little office over here, and then I just move on over to this computer to do other work, content, and all that kind of stuff. But normally, I would have either a leader meeting for youth group or Bible study on Monday nights after work, but we don't tonight, so I'm gonna jump into some wedding planning, specifically getting our wedding invitations, and there's actually a really cool story about this. So this is one of the things where I was referencing in my wedding plan Q&A where God just provided a really cool opportunity for us to work with a brand that's going to be a huge blessing to us. So basically what happened is a couple Christmases ago, I'm trying to remember which year, but Minted had reached out to me and Minted is like a stationary brand. You've probably seen them in Target. They have their really cute cards and they had reached out wanting to do like a Christmas card collaboration. And at the time I was single and not planning to do a Christmas card. And then also I think I somehow missed the email. So by the time I got it, it was already like partway through December and it was just gonna be a little bit too rushed to do something like that. And so it just wasn't gonna work out for a collaboration. But I told the girl, I was like, you know, I love your products and I would love to maybe work together sometime in the future. And so I kept her email and honestly totally forgot about that until fast forward now being engaged probably like a month or so ago, one of my friends, McKenna, who's also a bridesmaid, came over and she was helping me just like get a list together of all the things that need to get done for the wedding and prioritize things. And of course, guest list and invitations were top of that list. And so she was helping me research different invitation options. And of course, Minted came up because they have beautiful wedding invitations. And that's when I remembered that I had a contact from Minted. And so I figured, you know what? Can't hurt to ask. Why not reach out and see if they want to work together? Together. And so I reached out to the contact I had and she said they would love to cover the cost of our wedding invites to just get everything we needed in the cart and that they would take care of it, which was just crazy to me. I was so excited because that's, like I said, just such a huge, huge, huge blessing to us. And I just think it's a cool little full circle moment and very like God to do that because when they had first reached out about the Christmas card collaboration at the time, I was discouraged about just not knowing when God was going to bring that person into my life. And so for God to redeem that and now give me this opportunity to work with them for planning our wedding is just so sweet and again, so like God. And so I'm gonna take you behind the scenes of me setting up the invitations and designing them. Tyler and I already actually went through and picked the one that we wanted. Um, we spent a while going through them because there's so many and they're all beautiful. So it was really hard to narrow it down, but we did already pick one. I just have to get all our information plugged in and get all the designs just right before we hit submit on the order. And then Tyler's actually gonna come over when he finishes work as well to look over it with me because I just want like a second set of eyes on it. This is not sponsored, but I did want to say a huge, huge thank you to Minted for gifting our wedding invitations. Again, this is a huge blessing to us and we are so thankful. So here is the invitation we picked. It's simple. It's got the little gold foil design on it and we just both really liked it. We had probably like 10 we narrowed it down to and this is the one we kept coming back to. The nice thing is even once you pick your design, they have like different color scheme options for each one. And so you could do white, you could do this like burnt orange color. Um, we're doing this taupe color here. And then you can also pick the color of the gold foil you want. So I think this one's like on bronze right now. They've got rose gold, kind of a glittery one. I don't know if you can see that. We're just gonna do the plain gold one. So cute. Heading out to the catering tasting. Hi, mom and dad. Hey, girlie. Hi, daddy. <laughs> So we 
just tried two options for our wedding. And they were both amazing. They were both amazing and we picked. We're not gonna say which one we picked yet. Next time we're here, we'll be getting married. So our catering tasting last night was so yummy. I'm so excited about the choices we ended up making for that. I'll have to tell you more about the caterer that we're going with after the wedding because they're actually connected to our venue. But one special moment from last night that I wanted to share, honestly just for me to remember, but also to share on here, is as we were driving out to the venue, it was me, Tyler, and my parents. And my dad and I started talking about what song we wanted to do for like the father-daughter dance. And my dad's not typically like a super emotional guy but we played a couple different options and after we listened to them um, I was like dad which one did you like the best and he was like emphatically without question a hundred percent the first one and he just like normally doesn't have a response like that and so he was sitting in the front seat and I like peered up to look at him and he had sunglasses on but he was crying and I think it just really touched him and then I started crying and then my mom was crying it was just a really sweet moment and made me so excited for that moment of doing that dance with my dad we still have to figure out all the other songs we're doing but it was just a really sweet moment and these are the little sweet moments throughout this whole engagement season and wedding planning process that i really want to remember and savor if you're married and had a father-daughter dance comment down below what song you did i would love to hear that and then also it'll be fun to see if any of you did the same song that we're gonna do tyler and i are just doing a little date night working on some wedding stuff we're finalizing our wedding website and registry. So we're actually using Minted for the website as well. And it's cool because the website matches the invitations we got. I'll include some little screen recordings of it here. So Tyler's working on the our story part of the website right now. Do you wanna read the first line? I think it's really funny. I'm not gonna give it away. I mean, the website is password protected, so people aren't really gonna see it anyways. But maybe we'll share like the little screen shot right, of it so when it's done. Go. Here we go. It all started on October 13th, 1994. Casey Nicole Pacello didn't know it yet, but for her second birthday, she got the greatest gift of all, her soulmate. You. Neither of us really believes in soulmates, but it's kind of the best word for that it's thing. For the sake of the story. We're kind of like, I feel like there's so much pressure on like, what's our story to write it out all perfectly. And then Tyler just started going the route of making it fun. Talking about how on my second birthday, I got the greatest gift ever. Because if you didn't know, mm -hmm. we have the same birthday. Um, and so we're just rolling with it and it's really fun. And I'm excited to see the rest of what he wrote. It's gonna be amazing. Right, Anna. There's my roomie. Hi. She just went and did a workout. Make sure you check out the apartment tour. It's already up on the channel. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just working on the website and then what else? The registry. So we're using Minted for the website, but then we're using Zola for the registry. So I'm just like linking it to our Minted site. And the nice thing about Zola is that you can do, like you can add gifts from wherever, like you don't have to do a bunch of different registries, you can just link them all there. And they actually have like a little plug in um, that you can put on your browser. So if you're searching and find something on a totally different site that's not like available through the Zola registry, you can just like use the plugin to add it to the registry if that makes sense. And so it's just an easy way to consolidate everything. And then the thing I really like about Zola as well is that you can do like, you can make any gift a group option, um, which is nice, especially because I feel like there's some things that are more expensive that is probably not gonna be like one person, but then people can contribute to it. Um, just cause like as Anna and I were going through and trying to figure out like who's keeping what things, um, yeah, some of the items are like kitchen items especially can be more expensive. So that is what we are doing. So we got our invites in from Minted probably about a little bit over a week ago now. Woo woo. Woo! And we are gonna just spend the afternoon, it's Sunday, we finished up church this morning. We're gonna spend the afternoon with the TV show on, packaging our invites. What did you pull up? Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Um, and so before we start packing the envelopes, Tyler is very excited to do an unboxing to show you what oh, we got. Yeah. Wanna take it away? Can't wait. Gorgeous. What do we got? Some thank you cards. Check out that last name. Okay, look at these are our thank you cards to write thank you notes after Big the wedding. Name. It says Casey Harlow. Yeah, it does. How cute is that, babe? That's your future name right there. 
I'm Look a future that. heavy right there. And the grand reveal. And the invitations. The Look at those. <gasps> they turned out so good. And on the back. How cute. So we didn't do save the date, so we figured just having the picture and the date and our names on the back could be like a little save the date that people could just put on their fridge. It was super Perfect. easy to customize and they turned out amazing. So great. We also got the belly bands. Not gonna lie, I didn't even know what a belly band was until <laughs> ordering these invites, but this basically just ties together the different pieces of the invite and then it has our initials on it. Cool. They are really cool. Use it as a bookmark after the wedding. <laughs> and last but not least, the finishing touch on all of them, these super cool little wax seals. And they're really pretty. They've got like this eucalyptus on them. We'll give a little overlay shot of all these things laid out out of the plastic too, but these are the nice little sticker wax stick-on seal. So, ready to package some invites, babe? Heck yeah. Didn't leave me hanging that time, like she did in our, uh, married versus engaged video yep if you haven't seen it's it great. it's linked up Go here okay so here is what all the different pieces look like so excited so here's what it'll look like all packaged up We just finished packaging all these invitations. Anna helped, Both made it go so much faster. Dinner. About to finally, yeah, take a break to eat some Thai tea. Break, we're Or some done. Thai tea. That's Thai tea. Some Thai food, very excited. And then I think we'll probably do like stamping and mailing out another day because we're kind of pooped and I'm sweaty, but. If you want to check out Minted, they have a ton of different designs for wedding invitations and other stationary stuff. And so I have them linked down below. Thank you again, Minted, for our invitations. We love them and we're so excited They're to amazing. send them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this wedding planning vlog here. But before I do, I want to read a verse that I feel like I've actually been referencing a good amount lately, but it's Psalm 127, one. And it says, unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. I think I read this in my overthinking, taking your thoughts captive video, but this has just been such a sweet reminder and truth to see lived out in wedding planning because yes, with planning a wedding, there's a lot of things that need to get done, a lot of things that I need to do, but it's also been really cool in that to see God be the one to provide in all these little ways, both financially and in just little details getting worked out and it's such a reminder that in any of the things that we do whether it's planning a wedding or doing school or working working towards some goal that yes we are to put in the work because it says unless God builds the house the laborer labors in vain so yes as the laborers we still need to put in the work and be diligent with the tasks set before us but recognize that unless God is the one ultimately building it then our work is in vain and so we are to work diligently as on to the Lord, but also submit that to him and recognize that he is ultimately the one doing the building and acknowledge him in that. And so it's just been really sweet to see God's hand in this process as we go about all the many to-dos that make up planning a wedding. But I just wanted to share that in closing. I hope that it is encouraging to you and I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and then also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video video.